Pain Medicine Anesthesia at University Hospitals Leicester NHS Trust, United Kingdom. Today we're going to talk about uh, cervical sympathetic chain block using ultrasound. Start with the midline, as you could see on the ultrasound here, you will see a tracheal ring and then we're going to move the probe uh, more laterally and you could see uh, this is your omohyoid muscle, you will have your thyroid gland, you have your carotid artery and I'm actually compressing the internal jugular vein as you could see, I've relieved the compression that's your internal jugular vein and the important structure, when you start to see this you're looking for a bony cell out, a continuous line which is straight on and there is no anterior tubercle, you have a posterior tubercle, this is your C7 level. Can you freeze the image please? Freeze it. Yeah. Take the picture. Now we will going to move on to, once you find the C7 level, now the, another way to confirm the C7 level is by putting a color Doppler and we are going to look for the vertebral artery. As you could see, you're picking up a signal here. That's your vertebral artery and that's your C7 nerve root. Color Doppler off, please. Now we're going to move up into C6 level. As I said uh, previously uh, on the skeleton uh, demonstration, at the C6 level, you have your anterior tubercle and the posterior tubercle and the cervical nerve root at C6 level is bit sitting between your anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle. It looks like a ghost. Uh, so anterior tubercle, uh, nerve root posterior tubercle and if you want to perform the cervical nerve root block you will be performing this block bringing the needle in plane and stopping it just at the posterior tubercle and I'll always put the color Doppler in order to rule out any vessels at the entrance to the posterior tubercle and if there are no vessels at the posterior and entrance of the posterior tubercle the block can be safely performed. The cervical nerve root blocks that we perform using the ultrasound uh, are basically the extra foramen injections. Thank you.